When the Nuggets released their updated injury report an hour before tip-off, I felt a little uneasy as Denver will be taking on the defending Western Conference champion Golden State Warriors, missing almost half of their lineup. But the Nuggets weren't about to use injuries as a crutch. Instead, they came out and racked up 42 points in the first quarter alone and route to a historic win over the Warriors. Thankfully, Chris Dempsey wrote a full game recap because a minute is just not enough time to rattle off all the records they tied. Denver came out guns ablaze and put up 16 threes in the first half alone, tying the NBA record for the most threes in 24 minutes of play. They would then go on and tie the all-time single game record after sinking 24 of the 40 shots they put up from beyond the arc, setting a new franchise record as well. Nikola Jokic picked up his second career triple-double in 36 minutes on the floor and became the first player to have a 17-point, 21 rebound, and 12 assist stat line since Wilt Chamberlain and Elgin Baylor did so on the same day in 1968. The Ruko Wancho Hernan Gomez paced the team with 27 points while grabbing 10 boards, a career night for him. There were plenty of folks to show the Nuggets some love on the eve of Valentine's Day as just less than 20,000 fans packed their way into Pepsi Center to witness the Nuggets annihilate the Warriors by a 22-point margin, 132 to 110 the final score from the can. Newest Nugget Mason Plumley did not suit up for the matchup, but Denver fans can look forward to one more weapon for their offensive arsenal as general manager Tim Connolly noted his playmaking ability, which could allow Jokic to get a little bit more time to catch his breath on the sidelines. If the Nuggets keep rolling, they could take a strong hold of that much-desired eight seed. As of now, Yusuf Nurkic's new team is still trying to catch them, with two fewer wins while a game and a half back in the Western Conference standings. Be sure to follow me on more on the Nuggets and, of course, for more from the Denver Post Sports Desk.